our service of ordination for elders and deacons. So Carter, where are you? My young friend, please come forward. And Candy and Sam, please. So we made history um, this year at our annual meeting when uh, Carter was actually ordained online. I don't know if you guys remember that, but we held up our hands to the screen and we ordained Carter online. But I would really thought it was important that we actually ordain him here so he can feel our hands actually on him. So the questions of ordination uh, and installation this morning are directed to him. There are different gifts, but it is the same Spirit who gives them. There are different ways of serving God, but it is the same Lord who is served. God works through different people in different ways. But it is the same God who achieves his purpose through them all. Each one is given a gift by the Spirit to use it for the common good. Together we are the body of Christ and individually members of him. Though we have different gifts, together we are a ministry of reconciliation led by the risen Christ. We work and pray to make his church useful in the world and we call men and women to faith so that in the end every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Within our common ministry, some members are chosen for particular work as ministers of the word, ruling elders, and deacons. In ordination, we recognize these special ministries, remembering that our Lord Jesus Christ said, Whoever among you wants to be great must become the servant of all. And if he wants to be first among you, he must be the slave of all. Candy, you have been elected by the voice of the congregation, and therefore uh, to the position of deacon. And um, I'm remiss that we did not ordain you at the annual meeting, but here we are. So I ask you these questions as required by our, our Constitution. Do you trust in Jesus Christ, your Savior, acknowledge him Lord of all and head of the church, and through him believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Do you accept the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be, by the Holy Spirit, a unique and authoritative witness to Jesus Christ and the church universal and God's word to you? Do you? I do. Do you sincerely receive and adopt the essential tenets of the Reformed faith as expressed in the confessions of our church as authentic and reliable expositions of what scripture leads us to believe and do? And will you be instructed and led by those confessions as you lead the people of God? Do you and will you? I do and I will. Will you fulfill your ministry in, obedien in obedience to Jesus Christ under the authority of Scripture and continually be guided by our confessions? Will you? I will. Will you be governed by our church's polity and will you abide by its discipline? Will you? I will. <laughs> will you be a friend among your colleagues in ministry? Working with them subject to the ordering of God's word and spirit, will you? I will. Will you in your own life seek to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, love your neighbors, and work for the reconciliation of the world, will you? I will. Do you promise to further the peace, purity, and unity of the church? And will you pray for and seek to serve the people with energy, intelligence, imagination, and love? Do you? I do, and I will. Will you be a faithful deacon, teaching charity, urging concern, and directing the people's help to the friendless and those in need? And in your ministry, will you try to show the love and justice of Jesus Christ? Will you? I will. Sam? Do we, the members of the church, accept Candy Dance as a deacon? Chosen by God through the voice of this congregation to lead us in the way of Jesus Christ. If so, please say, we do. We do. Do we agree to pray for her, to encourage her, to respect her decisions, and to follow 
as she guides us, serving Jesus Christ, who alone is head of the church. If so, will you say, we do? We do. At this time, I'd ask everyone to please stand. And if you have been previously ordained as an elder or deacon or minister of the word, I want to invite you to please come forward as we ordain Candy and Carter. You guys can just stand right here with prayer and laying on of hands. So come on forward. Obviously, there's a lot of hands here. So if you can't reach, just touch the person in front of you, okay? chosen servants to speak your word and lead your loyal people. We thank you for these people who you have called to serve you. Give to them, Lord, special gifts to do their special work. And fill them with the Holy Spirit as you fill the disciples with your spirit on that Pentecost day. So they may have the same mind that was in Christ Jesus and be faithful disciples as long as they shall live. We ask this in your strong and holy name. Amen. Amen. Carter, Candy, you are not ordained and installed elders and deacons in the church. Please welcome these good people with a round of applause. 